Kingdom MMA here with Aaron Blackwell at Cage Warrior 69. Excellent performance today, Aaron. Talk us through the fight. Adam Venture is a tough kid, you know, from a top gym. Everyone at this level is top. Doesn't matter if they're three and or thirty three and Everyone I treat the same, you know. Um, he's from a top top, you know, grappling club primarily, but he was game on his striking too. That's that's fine. Um, yeah, I think from top to bottom, I just wanted to, you know, wear him out with footwork. Really work my strengths, keep moving. I knew my fitness was very strong, so I thought if we have to go five rounds, twenty five rounds, I'm going to be beating him. The more he, the more tired he got the easier it was to land my shots. As you could see, as the fight went on, hitting him with more combinations, a little bit of some cheeky stuff in there as well for the fans, but yeah. No. He's looked to have a bit of, or should I say, a, a fair bit of success with, with kind of the kicks. Yep. Um, is that something you, you plan to have, or is that just something that kind of came as the fight was going along? Uh, I'd say I'm, I'm, a, I'm a mixed martial artist, I'm a martial artist. I don't see myself as being one type of fighter, like I can just kick or just punch. I just use what works at the time. So I know that I watch a lot of his fights, and I knew that I could hit him with a lot of kicks. Um, and then as the fight drew and I knew my boxing would come more into play and my elbows, and they did, obviously. So as he got more tired, I could plant and hit him more. But because he was looking for the grapple, I thought the best thing to do is keep him at range. He caught a couple of my kicks, fair play to him. But I knew if he caught one, I could slip out anyway. I just had to keep him uh, moving enough to get him tired, and then I knew everything else would fall in, including the takedowns, obviously. And you mentioned, obviously, coming from a good grappling experience. Yep. Did you did you plan for him to try and put you against the cage, try and get that takedown? Yeah, we... And obviously, a lot of his wins have come by submission, so was that mainly what you focused on in the camp, or, as you said, mixed martial artist, worked on everything? Yeah, well, obviously, I work everything all the time, but obviously for him, because I knew he looked live defence a lot, I worked hard on my, my offence defence. Um, working with like Brad Pickett and Ashley Grimshaw, working a lot of stuff with my wrestling with them guys, specifically for Adam, because uh, I knew that's where he's going to want to put it. So I can't afford to be lax of days ago and think I had one area that I could just beat him in. Uh, you know, he put a Kimura on, you know, it wasn't quite on. Like I, I knew my elbows out, but he, he still pushed me over with it. So still, uh, you know, have to be careful at this level. Look, one opportunity I gave him, he took it. So, you know, uh, yeah, I'd say I trained for him, of course, but train everywhere all the time. And you mentioned at the end there, you want to be on the main card the next fight. When you're looking to come back, any any plan? Uh, not straight away. Um, I love the London card. Uh, this is my home, so uh, I got all my fans behind me. I take every fight as it comes. So uh, as I've said to other people, Adam Ventry is like, almost like a brother to me now. I've watched him so much, I know everything about him. So I do that with every single opponent. I live in their shoes until I know every detail. So when the next opportunity comes, I've got to do that again. So no rush, but when it happens, I'll be ready. Aaron, congratulations on a big win, mate. Thank you. All the best, mate.